The Free State Provincial Government is this week hosting the second Free State 4IR Industry Summit in its quest for economic growth and development of the province through the technology sector. Now, the summit is jointly hosted in collaboration with the Central University of Technology and seeks to consolidate on the gains of the previous summit, particularly considering the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the province's social economic fabric. The two-day event is showcasing various 4IR-related technologies and investment opportunities in the province. For more on this story, we cross to SAPC News reporter Kamakhelo Sikwe. A very good morning to you again, Kamakhelo. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what can you tell us at this point? What's happening there? Um, good morning to you and the viewers. We are at the Central University of Technology where the second annual fourth industrial revolution is taking place. We've learned from the first day that the Free State Province is actually lagging behind in terms of taking up innovations that this revolution is presenting. But to tell us more about this, we have MEC for Treasury in the, prov in the province, uh, Ms. Khadija Brown. She will take us through what the provincial government is doing in terms of supporting small and existing businesses to take up these um, innovations. Um, MEC, um, welcome. Thank you. Good morning, Kamu, yes. the viewers and South Africa at large. Yes. Um, please tell us what the provincial government is doing in terms of supporting small businesses or even big businesses that are operating in the province. We see that there are different exhibitors here today. How is the province supporting them? No, thank you very much. And I think it's very, very important to understand. Firstly, we under financial difficulty as a country. Um, our debt to GDP is just about at 70%. 70, 70%. Um, the province as well, our fiscal consolidation stance and managing cost measures have also developed certain type of partnerships and other mechanisms of um, ensuring that we are able to support our SMMEs, businesses and um, the industry. So with the 4IR Summit, we had the first one in 2019, where we had five key themes that were addressed in terms of uptake, not only in government, but also in the private sector, not only on hardware, software, but also applications and across the value chain. And based on that, um, we had decided to partner with the Central University of Technology, who has got an incubator hub that deals not only with the feeder a part of um, this industry but also commercialization, patenting and ensuring that the product gets to market. They work with other various stakeholders such as MICT CETA. They also work with other stakeholders in the private sector that really deal with commercialization of such products. So we hope that the 4IR and um, technology and innovation in this province brings about much needed change to to alleviate poverty and unemployment and also to ensure that our young people which is the bigger part of our population has got access to some sort of proprietorship or the ability to create jobs and if you go around the exhibition today you'll find that there are young people from the free state all corners of the free state who deploy certain solutions into those rural and most rural of areas for example data and access to um, some connectivity and of course we, we're calling upon our partners to uh, deal with um, the infrastructure and the ability to ensure that we deploy some of our innovative mechanisms across the province. Um, you talk about unemployment. How is the uh, province assisting in terms of technology uptake in those rural areas where people don't even know the concept of 4IR? Well, um, first and foremost, I think it comes with training and the, understanding the paradigm. I mean, we have um, our grandmothers that are able to do please call me, our, our aunties that are able to do WhatsApps. So we're finding that, um, I'll give you an example of a young person from Tumaole who has been able to create a market database by selling for example, oil, it go, goes at um, 100 rand, 5 litre, it's now at 52 rand, and is able to deploy it to our Spaza stores, you know, the local stores. And because of economies of scale and creating a data wholesale market, he's able to take orders, deal with the collection and delivery from a logistics perspective, and still make a little bit of a profit, but also bring the product to those um, stores in the, those rural environments. And that is some of the solutions that we require 
require to ensure that our people who have got access just to an application or to some sort of technology who is, who is able to work with um, te technological uh, and, and application markets the way they do. So congratulations, that's just one of them. There are many, many others in, in the hallway that you'll be able to see during the day. Thank you so much, MEC, for that uh, beautiful interview. As you have it in studio, the Free State Government is really trying to get the rural community to take up innovation and to create um, employment. With that, it's back to you in studio.